Welcome to the Corb Lang channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at my 2005 Toys R Us exclusive G.I. Joe, yes you heard me correctly, G.I. Joe Hydrofoil. This thing is beautiful. Just want to show you the finish on it first, right off the bat. That's not the paint, that's, that's right in there, right into the plastic. Some of the differences from this one, from the original. See, it's a GI Joe, so uh, there's a couple of the flames on the front, a couple different stickers that you don't see on the hydrofoil. Yeah, so if you uh, have seen any reviews on the Cobra hydrofoil, uh, this one's pretty much going to be the same thing, but if you haven't, well, this is kind of a two for one. Well, let's start with the weaponry. I think I'll start at the back. We've got some depth charges. Just get act. I hope I don't lose that. <laughs> just get activated just like that, and they fall into the water. That one's stuck. <laughs> Probably for the better. Then for the defense here, we have some swivel machine guns. These things are... Uh, Fairly basic. On top here we have the swivel turret machine gun. Which I found out earlier when I was doing the stop motion that you'll have seen at the intro to this video. I didn't have uh, Flint's foot in the foot peg so it kept hitting the driver in the head. <laughs> I had to keep putting him back for the next picture of the stop motion so I kind of learned the hard way. but. Uh, Use the foot peg, it really helps. Okay, we have these two missiles here on the side. <clears throat> it's two massive machine guns here. Those are nice, we got this little swivel gun here in the middle, with a tiny little handle, so either the passenger or the driver can access it. On the front here, for some reason this doesn't work as good as on the regular Cobra hydrofoil, but uh, got the missiles on the front. Not really in there straight. Same thing as you would see in the Cobra hydrofoil. The plastic's quite different though because this one doesn't go easy, but it doesn't. It doesn't break either. It's really flex flexible. GI Joe Hydrofoil is equipped with these same massive torpedoes that the Cobra one is. Take a look at the back here. You can see the engine's even been finished the same way. Let's see if we can see inside from that angle. I used to love this as a kid, like the Cobra one. It's got all that space on the inside. These things some people don't like because the figure you gotta kind of cram them in there, but I I love this as a kid. These little tight spots you could hide. And that was something with a lot of G.I. Joe vehicles. There was always lots of room to carry all your figures. Looks cool with the engine cover off. But, uh, one more feature I want to mention, probably the main feature, is these uh, hydrofoils on the bottom. Pull the lever, and push the lever, and that pushes down the, the fins there. And that would lift the boat off the water so it would go faster. So that was a real thing, but it, uh, it's a great feature for a G.I. Joe vehicle. It's a great way to display, as you can see, it stands up on those little fins, so you can display it that way. I never did though, when I was a kid I never really used that much at all, to be honest. The 2005 G.I. Joe Hydrofoil came with two action figures, Flint and Beachhead. 
They were both repainted, but the original molds. All right, well that concludes this close look at the GI Joe hydrofoil. I hope you enjoyed it. As much as I enjoyed having a close look at this again. We'll see you next time. Take care.